Hi guys, this is Brody from Canon New Zealand and today we're going to talk about all the settings on the top of the camera dial. So firstly we'll start with the scene intelligent auto. So this is a fully automatic shooting mode with auto scene detection. So what it does is it figures out the best settings to use for what the camera is looking at and it will adjust your settings accordingly for you. So the next mode is flash off. So this mode is for shots or locations where flash is prohibited. So the next mode is a creative auto mode. So this is an automatic mode that's a simple setting for things like background blur or built in flash. Cool, so portrait modes are for portraits. So backgrounds are blurred, subjects stand out, smooth as the skin and the hair. The landscape mode gives you a wide depth of field so you can either get your foreground or your background in focus and it'll give you really nice sharp images. So the next mode is the close-up mode. So this is most notably used for macro photography so you could be taking photos of flowers or insects, anything that you want to capture fine detail. Cool, so sports mode allows you to continuously shoot subjects in motion. So the next mode is food mode. So this is for culinary photography. It'll make all your food look vibrant and sharp. Cool, so the next mode is night portrait. So this is for portrait shots with illuminated night scenes in the background. So the next mode we'll talk about is the AV. It's a semi-automatic mode. So it allows you to adjust your aperture. It stands for aperture value or aperture priority. And so what it does is it allows you to set a specific aperture value or a F number. So while the camera selects the shutter speed to match it, that will result in a proper exposure based on the lighting conditions. So the next mode we'll talk about is TV. So this is also a semi-automatic mode. Uh, TV stands for time value, so all that does is controls the shutter speed. If you want a still image or you want a long exposed image, and the camera will figure out the correct aperture and the correct exposure for you. So the next mode is P mode, so that's programmed automatic. So programmed automatic will control your shutter speed and your aperture, and it allows you to have creativity over your exposure compensation. So M stands for manual. So this allows you to have full creativity over your image by adjusting all camera settings. So you'll be able to adjust your shutter speed, your aperture and your ISO to fit your creativity. And finally we arrive at the movie mode. So this is for recording video. Cheers for tuning in guys, I'm Brody. I'm from Canning, New Zealand. Thanks to PB Tech for letting us chat to you guys about what these dial modes are and hopefully you've got some value out of today's video. <laughs>